This exercise, we're using our lower weight to do a reverse pec fly. So to do the reverse pec fly, the most important part is getting into the right position. So taking one foot just barely forward, and then feeling that standing leg bend, both hips move back so that you feel your tailbone move back. And then your arms, you can kind of almost make parallel with this straight leg. We're pulling the elbows back in together. We're going to do it for a minute. We're going to go 30 seconds with one foot in front and then switch 30 seconds with the other foot in front. Our minute starts now. Lifting with the elbows guiding the way, noticing that you don't have to go too far back in order to feel those bottoms of the scapulas, the bottoms of the shoulder blades pulling together. If you look at this exercise from the back, I'm trying to get my back muscles to come together without using my upper trap muscles. You can also look at the shape here. Switching feet. Making sure that your weight isn't too far forward, but that tailbone back really helps you kind of stay centered right over your body. Keep it up. A minute's a while on this one. And we are done. Nice job.